Hey guys, welcome to Action Figure Corner. Today I'm just doing another NW opening, and the figure we're looking at today is the WrestleMania series Booker T. Now, I picked this up on eBay. As you can see, it does not include the Danny Davis uh, Builder figure bits, and there's a few reasons why I thought that it was worth getting. One is because it was about £5.60 cheaper, and two is because I figured I was never going to get the Dangerous Danny bits otherwise anyway. I do already have a Jax Danny Davis, which is what serves as my referee. Don't really need an Elite version. And when you look at the rest of the series, I'm never going to buy any of these guys. I mean... When they first turned up on ringside, I was kind of like, oh, I'm going to buy that whole lot. And then under further scrutiny, I was like, wait, no, no, I won't. I, admittedly, I won't have noticed how bad the Mick Foley head scan was at that time. Uh, I don't really like the walk and Matt Hardy gimmick. And Kofi Kingston's just Kofi Kingston, isn't it? Once you got one, you got them all. It's weird how big this Danny Davis bit is um, on the back. Like, it, it almost looks like it's part of, like, the Booker T packaging kind of thing. I don't know. Um, you know, couldn't it just be like a little title here over the figure or something? I also find it funny that this comes with his uh, arms and legs, but does not come with his additional hands. You know, this is a weird series of figures, isn't it? It's a weird assortment of figures. I don't really associate any of them, apart from maybe Mick, with WrestleMania per se. Of course, I mean, they've all had uh, WrestleMania matches, but I mean... I mean, Kofi makes sense, I guess, because he's the most recent... WrestleMania champ, and they've all had WrestleMania matches, I guess. Walking Matt Hardy's probably the weirdest one. It's just a weird assortment, isn't it? But yeah, anyway, since this box has already been opened, and I'm eager to not get, to not build up the, any more, the figures, my boxed figures that I need to get through, I thought I'd just crack this guy straight open. Um, this is actually a really nice box. The WrestleMania series is quite nice uh, packaging. Uh, so as I say, the box has already been opened to get the Danny Davis parts out. So I will simply just pop that open and slide the figure out. And then the packaging is gone. Okay, so yeah, this is the kind of guy that, uh, you know, only had a figure at the very early Elite days. And um, really needed another one, so I'm very glad they did him. You can get like an Australian knockoff of him for like... £12, I think, on eBay. I was almost tempted to do that. Okay, so let's just cut through some of these some of these ties and get him out. Uh, try and push him out as carefully as possible. First things first, let's discuss the only accessories it comes with. So being very careful with these not to damage either the finger or the joint getting them out of the package. So, the default hands are like this, then your other options are the two finger salute, the one finger in the air spin a rooney, jazz hands, stroke the don't shoot me please, and the motorbike handles. Now, I actually think the spin a rooney hands looked best there, but yeah, that's basically everything. So the first thing I noticed while I was uh, adjusting the hands is that the w the ab joint is quite loose there. You know, when it's down, it's not too bad. Like when it's like that, it's quite stiff. But when it gets a certain height, it starts being quite loose. Um, I also noticed in the box yesterday, he's got a bit of a ding on his nose, which is a bit of a shame for like a factory figure. I've also just noticed that his, his skin tone is sort of slightly different. See if I can focus this in. His skin tone is slightly different on his arm than on his um, actual torso. This doesn't really show up too well with the lighting, but it is noticeable. In fact, actually, it's the exact same thing with his legs and head as well. The torso is just like a different color to the rest of him, like a different shade to the rest of him. We've got the really nice decal on the back there. We've got the cool Booker T decals on the boots. And we've got his shoulder tattoos, which all look pretty nice. Now we'll do the joints test. Yeah, that head's more or less. Oh, maybe it's not. His hairline is like so far back on this figure. Is it actually that far back? I mean, it's not great, but I don't think it's that far back. Shoulder seems fine. Arm seems fine. Elbow. And of course, the wrist joint is fine. Um, the shoulder's lovely and stiff. Stiff, 
Lovely. Waste is fine. See, that leg seems fine. That leg seems fine. So, yeah, this is the kind of figure that, you know, I'm, I'm always going to pick up when they come out because it's like a redo of a, a guy that really needs a new figure. There's a lot of people out there that Mattel could do with redoing, especially Legends and stuff like that. I might do a video on that at some point, just discussing, like, figures that they need to make a new one of. All in all, I think this is a, a quite a nice-looking figure. It's a bit of a shame about the hairline, the skin colour, the dent on his nose the slightly loose ab joint um and you know what would have been cool um i don't know how low down the pecking order he would be for one of these but the, the hands made me think like an ultimate edition version of this would have been good like you could have like a spin a rooney face where he's all like turned and then another face where he's i don't know do whatever you could take his beard off you know he didn't always have one I think that would be cool. Like I said, I don't know how far down the pecking order he is for an Ultimate Edition. At some point, they're going to end up doing ones that don't really deserve being made. I mean, to be fair, I was a bit sceptical about Nakamura, because as cool as he is as a dude, um, outside of WWE, WWE have uh, sort of wasted him a little bit, so it's kind of surprising they think he's worth one of them. I just realised as well he's got this neck tattoo. It's kind of hidden away under his hair. Well, yeah, that's quite nice. The decals on this figure are really nice. It's a nice, simple, white and... Um, black decal book T. You know, it's nice and simple, but it's like exactly what you'd want. So yeah, it's it's a bit of sh a bit of a shame about all of the things I've noticed while we've been here. But ultimately, I think this is a really nice figure in general. Um, this may not be the best example of it, but yeah, I think it's a really pretty cool figure. So now we'll talk about where where Booker T is going to fit in my animation fed. Well. Truth be told, if this box wasn't already open, this is exactly the kind of guy who'd sit on my shelf for a good couple of years waiting for his moment to strike because he is not going to turn up in my animation fed anytime soon. But once he does, he will have a pretty important role. It's quite similar to this Kurt Angle, which I actually just keep on my desk. Um, if you watch the end of you opening for him, these are going to show up at around the same time. Um, they're both going to have a pretty big role in what's happening at that time. Uh, but until then, they're just kind of unboxed figures I unbox for the sake of getting the box out of the way. But yeah, without giving too much away, they're both going to be pretty important. It could be quite a while down the road, especially with how long it's taken me to do what I'm currently doing. But I'm sure we'll get there in the end. Anyway, thank you for watching this NW opening. Goodbye.